Okay, a couple key concepts for you. First, mutations are changes to genes that can lead to changes to the protein molecules, which can result in changes to traits. And second, mutations to genes can sometimes introduce new traits into a population. And I'm going to back up and explain just a bit here because in my experience, this is one of the most misunderstood parts of natural selection. Like people think you get a mutation, it's always like this huge, like big change in things. And that's not really how it goes. So the most important mutations are the ones that happen at birth. And this happens all the time, regardless of environment. Usually though, the mutation either doesn't change the trait or it only changes it in an itty teeny tiny way that you can't notice. But because mutations stack up over generations, rarely you'll get a mutation that actually does significantly change the protein and will change the traits that you see. And this is what's causing new traits in a population. So if we go back to thinking about the whole DNA to protein to trait thing, this is an example of, let's say that's the DNA for color trait two, the protein it makes, and the trait we see in the end. And let's say this ostrilope reproduces and has a baby. And there's a mutation at birth, like it always happens. Well, this is one situation that's pretty common. You had a mutation, but the protein literally didn't change and neither did the trait. Yeah, a little not dramatic, but it's common. Let's say this ostrilope reproduces, has a baby, and we get mutations again. Well, another common situation is the protein did change, but in such a small way that the trait either didn't change or the change is so tiny you can't even notice it. Now, for the one that people think that happens all the time, but it's only occasionally, we have reproduction happen, we get a mutation, and bam, like huge change to the protein, enough that the trait you end up seeing is different from before, at least somewhat different. So this is a situation where the mutation is giving a new trait. So long and short, we have mutations happening all the time, but usually the change is teeny, teeny, tiny. But because mutations can stack up many generations later, you can get a mutated protein and a mutated trait. But if you notice, and I did this intentionally, that mutated trait is only a little bit different from what the parent had usually. So just bearing repeating, key concept. Mutations are changes to genes that can change the protein molecules that can result in the change to trait. And mutations to genes can sometimes introduce new traits to a population.